here today. Um, I got the, the copy of Windows 7 Home Premium. Today I'll sh I'll be going and unboxing it. And this right here is the upgrade copy. Yeah, I just bought it today and it's Sunday. It came out since Thursday. And I got the receipt to it. Fuck it's on it receipt. Here it is, Windows 7. That's my proof of purchase. Now I'll go ahead and I'll open it up. Got some scissors, I can just get that plastic. Hold on guys, hang on. Trying to get this open. Here it is. I oh, know I gotta move the camera so I can get get it open. Hold on, let me get this. Get this plastic off. It's hard to do it with one hand. I'm going ahead and open it. And this is how it comes out. There's a nice box. I'm going to go ahead and I'll open it up. Whoa, it looks nice. 32 bit. Let's see what the other one is. 64. And right here you got upgrading from Windows XP, Windows 7. You know, that's the product key for it. And I will go ahead and I'll boot it up on my laptop and I'll go ahead and install it. Now we're at the Windows 7 startup. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit install now. I'm using the 32-bit copy because my Vista is a 32-bit. I'm still, I got stuff on here I still want to keep. Now it's set up the starting. So I'm going to go ahead and go online to get all the latest updates for my installation. And I'm searching for the updates. Yes, I have the adapter connected. Because it, it will not install if you have the your laptop's adapter disconnected. So you must have your AC adapter to your laptop to be connected in order to let the update, the upgrade, go smooth. And yes, in order to run Windows 7, you'll need at least 1 gigabyte of RAM for 32-bit and 16 gigabytes free. So far. Still going. This could be on the internet. And I'm gonna go cut some of it out. Most of the long installations, the longest parts they'll need, I'll stop on them. Um, I am connected to the internet with a Wi-Fi connection. Now it says installation is restarted. Please wait. And I'm using my Toshiba laptop. 
and this qualify for the Windows 7 upgrade because I bought it in just there we are the license agreement we're gonna accept that I know it the license agreement so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade checking compatibility If you want the one with the most features, you can get the Ultimate Edition. Soon, oh, I can't wait for Office 2010. I'm going to put this on here, Office 2010, when it comes out. Yeah, it's checking my compatibility. Collecting information. And it's going to go through here. The Vista installation wasn't long for me. You can get an upgrade copy, like a family pack for like more three computers. It'll just let me know if not, what it'll affect. So I'm gonna hit next. I'm just gonna be copying the files. It's going to be pretty long. It says upgrading. Your upgrade may take several hours to complete. Your computer will restart several times during the upgrade. Preparing to copy Windows installation files. 20 out of 2,087 megabytes copied. 41. At this part, I'm going to go ahead and, and pause. And the next part, if I get to, one, to the next one, I'll film it.